The conversations will delve into the psychology of behavior, the universality of some human response on the one hand, and the very real differences among various cohorts on the other. Some of what you hear today will make you, uh, will make you think, whoa, that like, totally makes sense. Why don't I operate accordingly? So really, I think the model these days is there's a lot more interaction between the two. That you know, it used to be uh, political campaigns lagged. Now there's really just a merger. And they're learning from both. And I think you'll hear through, through the presentations about how valuable uh, political branding can be for consumer marketing. But I also wanted to give you a bit of a glimpse in the future, because I'm sure all of you know that politics are creeping into more and more of our, um, our world. And I think probably the best example is climate change. And you know, something that used to be a science, uh, and you know, what's that happening? It's now been politicized, and the best predictor of do you think so climate change is happening is your political affiliation. Everywhere I've gone on this fantastic journey so far, people walk up to me with pictures of their children and say, Governor, I want my child to look at the White House and to be proud of what he or she sees. I believe it's important for America to have confidence in their leadership. I think it's really important for moms and dads to be able to point to the White House and say, that person has brought honor and dignity to the office. And that worked. That access worked. And then, uh, uh, but uh, flash forward four years, and the world had changed uh, considerably. Now George Bush is the incumbent. And uh, on the right track, wrong track, wrong track is well over 50%. So now we're in the odd strategic box of trying to argue that things are really screwed up, so stay the course, which is obviously a challenge. Uh, so uh, we determined that fewer than 50% liked the president or agreed with his policies. So how are we going to get to 50.1? Well, there were a lot of things that we did, but uh, we set a strategy that was around a national security framework. Um, I am going to give you uh, the perspective from the Democratic side. Um, so 2000 and 2004 were perhaps are not, not our best years ever. Uh, but 2008 was pretty, a pretty good year, and we'll see how this goes uh, in, in the next couple months um, while, while everyone spends uh, approximately one quadrillion dollars. Um, so um, I, my, uh, my background is political. Um, I was, uh, in 2008, I was a consultant to the Obama campaign and been working in pol around politics and technology and digital and new organizing for over 10 years, uh, which seems like a really long time. Um, I really want to just draw on, on a couple of things that already, have already been spoken about, uh, but perhaps put them into a different kind of European context. Obviously, our, our politics being a representative democracy is, is somewhat different. The political cycle is kind of different. As our, as our voters and, and the way in which we organize. But some of the key principles still absolutely stand. Um, I'd say that one interesting thing, actually, and, and I'm sure that, 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 all, that, that all of my colleagues here would, would say the same thing, that actually coming out of a political campaign where I spent almost a decade into now working for brands um, and non-government non organizations, is this which is that politics stirs so many different kind of emotions um, you know, I worked for the Conservative Party, and there are lots of people who aren't just indifferent to the Conservative Party, who actively, who are actively hostile towards it. And the same goes for Republicans and Democrats. And so you're, you're dealing with a whole set of different emotions. Now, with, with the brands that I work on, people may be consumers, they may not be consumers, but if they're not, they'll, you know, possibly be indifferent or they'll be benign uh, to, to the competitive brand. Politics is really, really different because you know, it's, it's about key fundamentals. It's about the economy, it's about war, it's about healthcare, it's about education. Here's what happens in one minute of labor. There are seven incidents of antisocial behavior and two violent crimes are committed while more police officers fill in forms than walk the beat. Four children are suspended from school and 915 tons of carbon dioxide are released into our atmosphere. Every minute, 8,562 pounds is spent on NHS bureaucracy, but only 5,900 pounds on maternity care. 
Every minute, two people lose their job, as red tape costs businesses £13,691. Every minute, the government takes £964,612 from us in tax, while unelected quangos cost the taxpayer £170,765. Every minute, Gordon Brown increases our national debt by an extra £310,122. And every minute, another baby is born who'll owe 20 23,000 pounds before they've even started out.